Hi everyone. In this video, we want to show you what we think is the best way to incorporate a Zoom scheduled meeting or hosted meeting into your Schoology classes. So I started in Schoology, but I really need to open a browser window so I can look at my Zoom account. So I'm just typing zoom.us. As this is loading, you may be prompted to sign in if your account isn't recognized right away. Just remember to use that Google sign in feature. So I'm going to go directly into my account. And I don't really need to look at my profile, but I'm going to look at my meetings and I want to schedule a new meeting. So I'm in here looking at schedule a new meeting. I'm going to give it a pretty specific name. Romeo and Juliet review session. Um, I want to set it for a specific time to start. So I'm going to look at tomorrow at 10 a.m. for about an hour. And um, I need to make sure that time zone is correct so that my 10 o'clock is the same as my students 10 o'clock. And then if we look at these settings, we have gone in um, on the master level for our account and set what we think are some good defaults. The one that I would say you might want to change is the video participant um, on. The, so letting the participants who show up to your meeting have their video by default on. That's, that's really up to you. Your preference might change, so you just want to consider that one. Everything else I recommend leaving as is. Um, if you have any specific questions, you can um, ask me or ask any one of the other computer science and technology specialists, or Zoom itself always has that helpful chat bot. So um, there's the chat bot. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. So there's really one thing you need from this screen now. You've set up your meeting, you're good to go, um, and you're going to copy this URL. It's the join URL. Um, you want to use your keyboard commands to copy it, or you can right click to copy it. Again, just copy it however you would copy any other piece of text. Have that on your clipboard, and now we're going to navigate back into our Schoology course. So there's lots of ways, which you now know, to, uh, to share a link. Lots of different ways to do it. Um, we have two recommendations. One, we recommend posting an update. This is sort of the, hey guys, don't forget, or you know, reminder, that sort of thing. So I'm gonna say Romeo and Juliet review tomorrow. Okay, click on the link to participate. And we're gonna click on the link. And now I'm gonna use those same keyboard commands to paste my Zoom link there and just say, you know, uh, Romeo and Juliet. All right, attach and post. <clears throat> okay, so my students now see this in their feed. Okay, they see this link, they can look for me, they can find, you know, they can find it and click on it. But the second thing that we recommend is adding it in as a calendar event. So um, just going back to that really quickly, I pressed add event up here under the calendar. I'm going to go ahead and make it for the same time as my meeting. And this, what's really good about the calendar event piece is that it, um, it'll it show up in that feed on the, on the side and it's sort of static. So for the whole day on the 12th, um, they'll see that link to that Zoom meeting. Okay. And I'm also going to remember, just remind everybody, remember those visual cues for all of these icons and what they represent, the link. Those chain links always represent adding a link. Um, Romeo and Juliet Zoom. I'm going to hit attach, and we're going to save changes. So now, if my if my update gets lost sort of in the feed for students on the day that it matters, it's going to be right there at the top. Okay, and they just have to click in and click in and. You know, it asks to open Zoom. You should tell your students to prepare for that if, if you need to. Um, and don't be alarmed if you see it. So there we go. Join with computer audio. Here I am. This meeting is being recorded. Thank you for letting me know, Zoom. All right. So there we go. That's really the whole, the whole gist of it is really simple. It's all about the link. And what makes this really great is that you can share that link in, in your Schoology, um, your Schoology course 
If your courses are linked and you have multiple sections, you can share one link to all the sections. Um, if you are doing something with your you know, colleagues and you wanna send them the link, it's really simple. You don't need to get into all of the minutia of adding you know, invitees right there in Zoom. So I'm gonna end this meeting now because I don't wanna look at my face anymore. Okay, end meeting for all. Cool, all right. So afterwards, when your meeting is over, you'll then get the, the link to your cloud recording, which you would want to share in your materials section, right? So the students who are able to see it live would click on it live. And the students who need to come back and see it, as we would call asynchronously after the fact, they're going to want to look for it in a folder maybe of old Zoom recordings or however you want to organize that. Um, any questions, you know, you know, reach out to any one of us. I hope this was helpful.